Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. Three people, including a policeman, were accidentally shot by a member of a private security team on Thursday while at a bank in Portmore, St. Catherine. The security guard, a member of the Berlin Union team, accidentally discharges gun, injuring the three people. One of them, a woman constable. The injured people were reportedly outside the NCB bank. West Tradeway in Portmore, about 8.30 a.m. Thursday, conducting business when security personnel from the Berlinium team came to the institution with arms including a shotgun. The news understand that the shotgun slipped from the guard's hand and went off injured the three individuals. In a statement Thursday, NCB said one of the injured was taken to hospital and the other two sustained minor injuries. We are extending our support to those impacted by this. Unfortunate and unusual events. NCB is committed to providing a safe and secure environment for our customers and staff. We deeply regret any concern and inconvenience to this incident may have caused and would like to assure the public that we are taking this matter very serious, the bank said. The main entrance of the NCB, Portmore, has been closed until the completion of the area, processing by investigators. However, NCB said its team are arranged alternative means to ensure customers can still be served throughout the course of the day. We thank the community for their understanding and support, the bank said. Petrojam has confirmed that three men and guns with which they were reportedly armed were seized by the police and the company premises early on Thursday morning. In a statement from the company, it reportedly that about 6 25 a.m. Three armed men were apprehended by the police in the Petrodram car park that is designated for contractors, which is located outside the establishment. Security checkpoint. The company note that firearm was seized by the police. We can confirm that the men who have been detained are not employees of Petrodram, nor are they contractors. By Petrodram, the company stated, the police are now investigating the development. Petrodram said it remained committed to the safety and security of our employee and property and continue to monitor this situation. The Department of Correctional Service, DCS, has responded to a letter from incarcerated dancehall DJ Desmond Ninjaman Ballantyne to Prime Minister Andrew Olness, National Security Minister Earth Chang and Opposition Leader Mark Golden relative to the rehabilitation program from inmates within the island penal institution. In a statement released on Thursday, the DCS said it is aware from the proposal letter from Ballantyne and declared that several of the recommendations in the letter are already been undertaken within the different institutions. The department cite as an, as an example, Ballantyne's statement that one element that is missing from the system in Jamaica is an institution to rehabilitate those who have been incarcerated. It is imperative that we create a system to help the people who are locked up to achieve self-reliance. We have great tradesmen, mechanic, bodywork, professional, carpenter, furniture maker, etc. in institutions across Jamaica who simply wake up in the morning, take a shower, get feed, play football and get back into lockup. There are a lot of unused skills that are ongoing to waste. Computer class, technical class, mechanic, among other things, should be implemented. In response, the DCS said, In our efforts to reduce rookie divism, a number of the recommended academic and vocational trade, training as well as life skill, mentorship, sports, therapy and spiritual guidance are offered this program and guided by proven scientific principles and international best practices exposing and preparing offenders for successful reintegration. However, inmates participation in this program is not mandatory. The DCS also cited Ballantyne's reference to inmate participation. Notwithstanding, it is noteworthy that some institutions benefit from structured sports programs 